Assalamualaikum Izan here today we are going to read the kidnappers Kipper was sad because the magic key would not glow He looked at the key for a long time At last he fell asleep Suddenly the key glowed at the magic and the magic began to work Kipper's toys were coming to life. Teddy gave Kipper a shake. Wake up, he said. The magic key is glowing. The magic key is working. Kipper sat up and rubbed his eyes. He looked at his toys. Come on, Kipper, said Catsimmer. Hurry up. It's time for an adventure. Magic adventure. The toys ran into the little house. Hurry up, Kipper, called Teddy. Be quick or it will be too late. Kipper couldn't feel the magic working. It pulled him inside the magic house. The magic whizzed Kipper round and round. Oh, help, called Kipper. I feel different. This is a different sort of magic. The magic took them to an airport. It was a very busy airport. Airport. Catsimmer was was excited. Maybe we can catch the plane, he said. Maybe we can have an exciting adventure. There were bears everywhere. They were going to whisk their land. They are going to the teddy bear's picnic, said Teddy. They have one every year. Maybe we can go too, said Bunbury. Kipper was not sure. How can we? Can we? He asked. Of course we can go, said Teddy. This is a magic adventure. Kipper and his friends went on the airplane. Aeroplane to Wisterland to Switzerland. They flew over lakes and mountains. What a beautiful place for a picnic, said Kipper. The plane landed. Everyone got off. There were lots and lots of bears. Kipper had never seen so many. They had come from all over the world. It's going to be a big picnic, said Kipper. There was a bus at the airport. It was going to the teddy bear's picnic. Come on, said Catsimmer. Here, we're, if we run, we can catch the bus. Kipper and uh, Kipper liked Swit- Switzerland. It's beautiful here, said Kipper. It was fun on top of the bus. bus. The bears waved at, to at everyone and everyone waved back. At last the bus arrived. Everyone got off. I've never seen so many bears, said Kipper. We'd better stay together in case we get lost. Kipper and his friends found a good place to to sit. Suddenly, everyone shouted and cheered. A famous bear had come on to on the st- onto the stage. He waved at the crowd. "Welcome to Teddy Bear's picnic," he said. "I know him," said Kipper. He's a, he's a very famous bear indeed. I've re- read all, all his books. 
Another famous bear come came to on this to onto the stage. Everyone laughed and cheered. He began to tell jokes and sing funny songs. Everyone laughed and cheered. I know what fa- that famous bear too said. Keeper, I've seen him on TV. A famous poop group pop group came on the sta- on the sta- onto the stage. They played while the bears had their picnic. This is the best picnic I've I've ever been to," said Kipper. Kipper had an autograph book. He wanted some of the famous bears to sign their names. I can show them to be friendship," said Kipper. Then they'll know. Uh, no, I I've had a magic a magic adventure. They went to find the famous bears, but there was trouble. Some nasty bears were pushing the famous bears into the into a car. It's a kidnap," said Bunbury. "We must do something." The car sped away. Katsimir was uh, saw a van. "Come on!" said she. Shouted. Get in! We can follow the kidnappers in this van. Kitsimer drove the van as fast as he could. The car went ju- went even faster. It drove up a mountain road. Faster and faster, faster! Called Bunbury. Don't lose them! Called Teddy. The car drove through some big gates. The and stopped and in front of a house the famous bears pushed inside it looks dangerous said keeper but we must we must rescue them i have a plan keeper and catsimer went to the house the house keeper rang a bell some nasty bears came to the door free honey call keeper free honey for every bear the nasty bears were greedy and they couldn't resist the honey they didn't see what teddy and bunbury were doing teddy went to the car and took out the keys Bunbury went to the back of the house and looked through a window. He saw the famous bear, bears. Bears. They were tied up. Bunbury set free. Set the famous bears free. Then they all climbed out of the window. Come on, said Teddy. Follow me and don't make a sound. The famous bears creeped into the honey van. The nasty bears didn't see see them because they were too busy eating the honey. One of the nasty bears saw that the that the famous bears were escaping. They're in the honey van. He shouted. Go after it! Kastimir drove the honey van as fast as he as he got could got stuck in van as fast as he could. The nasty bears ran after the van van, but they got stuck in the honey. Hurray! Shouted Kipper. The famous bears were pleased with Kipper and his friends. "You are very clever," said they. "Said thanks to you, the teddy bears' picnic can go on." The magic key began to grow. It was time for Kipper's adventure to end. "I can't wait to tell Biff and Chip about it," he said. The magic key glowed last night," said Kipper. "I had a magic adventure." "We don't believe you," said Biff. 
No, it was just a dream, said Ship. Please subscribe to my channel for more videos. Allah face.